who is this? Is this uh, are these National Network? With you? Yes, they are. Well, how do you do? It's going to be for the National Network, okay? Did you didn't open this park, did you? Did you do this one too? I was here for the opening of this park. In fact, at the time, I was on the board of directors of up, MGM bro. that made the deal. And so I was here in a dual capacity, and then, of course, I was there at the opening in Disneyland 38 years ago. It was sad that Walt didn't really get to see this uh, come true, isn't it? Yes, but I have a feeling he's up there someplace looking down at us and reveling because he should be very proud of what's happened. It wasn't exactly what he had in mind, but it's so good. It's so wonderful. What do you think he had in mind for this place? Well, of course he had a duplication of Disneyland, only with things that he thought he could do better. Because he always thought he could do everything better. He was a perfectionist. I've seen him uh, shoot scenes in a film that I thought were just fine, and he had whole sets rebuilt that were destroyed. He said, no, I didn't like the way it looked. You know, the money didn't make that much difference to him. He was not a guy interested in uh, being rich, but in doing pictures. And his original idea, outside of Disney World, was to have Epcot be like a permanent World's Fair, where the workmen were over there. It wasn't a place uh, like a show place, as much as an actual reproduction of an international marketplace. Well, it is that, in a sense. Uh, and they're now going to build uh, some other places like it around in some of the other areas. Did he have any idea how big a deal he was? I mean, he's like, that name is like one of the most famous names, if not the most famous name on the planet. He knew that he was important, but you never would know it by his attitude. One time I was sitting with him on a porch in his home down in Palm Springs, and his wife was looking at a show business character in the newspapers, and she turned to him and she says, well, why don't we have all the things that this man has? I won't mention his name. Rolls Royces and yachts. She, she wasn't unaware of what they had. He said, well, um, why don't you come out and look at the studio sometime and see what we have? He was a very, very, uh, he never went to cocktail parties unless he had uh, something specific to see. He wasn't a socializer. Uh, he came to my house for dinner because we were good friends. And, uh, but he, he wasn't the party guy that you read about in Hollywood at all. Thank you a lot, Art. You bet. This is one of my favorite people on the planet here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank all you. ages, not for sissies. And if I make it to 45, I'm going to read his book once a day. You aren't 45? Not yet. No, I looked it. I can't help it. I would have gathered that you were approaching 68. That's my IQ. Not, not my net. Well, you look great. You're acting well. Is there any money in this for me? Or is uh, absolutely not. Uh, so thank you. We will have a parting gift for you. <laughs> Jimmy Carter.